this morning in our series, Road to the Inauguration, President-elect Barack Obama's swearing in can be an exciting experience, not only for adults, but for kids as well. Here with some patriotic crafts and treats for the entire family is Mary Giles. Did I say that right? Giles, yes. right? Executive editor of Family Fun Magazine. Good morning, Mary. Morning. Tell us what you brought here and teach us how to do these arts and crafts. Okay, well, you know, when you're talking about uh, current events or American history or politics, it's great to get kids excited about those by tying them into things they like to do, like crafts or making recipes. Mm -hmm. So today, we've got our superstar shirts. This is a great technique we've come up with at Family Fun for getting these crisp, clear lines. Even the littlest kids can make them and get a great result. How do you, you get it? You actually cut a stencil from freezer paper, iron it to the shirt, paint on your base color, dribble on a few other accent colors, let it dry overnight, and peel off the paper. Wow. Even I could do that. Absolutely. The littlest <laughs> kids will have okay. a great time doing it. Okay. What else do you have here? Well, if you're having a party, you might want to decorate your um, dining room or your kitchen with these cute chair covers. They look great, but they're so easy to make. They're just felt pieces cut out, and then you attach them re with repositionable glue. That's so clever. Mm -hmm. Complete is... details for all of them are on our website at familyfun.com. Okay. What all else right. you got here? Next, these are so cute. These little pens. Your kids can make them this weekend, wear them to school on Tuesday. They're so easy. You cut a felt hat from... Can I pin one on? Absolutely. Okay. From, uh, from felt or craft foam or paper, glue it to a wooden craft spoon, and mm -hmm. then you uh, glue on a cotton ball beard, some eyes, draw on a little nose, and then you turn it over, and uh, as you can see, you just attach a little pin back so you can wear it to school Oh, so let me just show because they so this is just a wooden spoon like you get for those ice creams? Yeah, exactly. That's so clever. Mm -hmm. Okay. As I put it on, tell me what else you brought along. Okay. We've also got a cute uh, centerpiece. Again, if you're having a party or an inauguration dinner with your family, you just tie a balloon to a dowel, stick it in a basket. You can make this really cute bunting here by just crunching up some crepe paper. Just hold it for the camera using, to see this button. Mm -hmm. And then use some double-sided tape. <laughs> to, Let's uh, find the camera here. This bunting. Right. Yeah. Cute. Okay. Attach that to the basket with double-sided tape. Okay. Okay. These uh, drinks are really fun for kids to experiment with. Our family friend kids. Kid They're red, white, and blue. Making. They're red, white, and blue. What's in They'll them? Hold their colors for about ten minutes, and the trick is to uh, pour your drinks in really slowly and pour it directly onto the ice so it doesn't splash into the bottom layer. And these are made with cranberry juice, Gatorade Blue, and then Diet Seven Up. They hold their colors because you've got the really a heavier sugar content on the bottom, less sugar, and then even less on and, the top layer. And what did you say? You put the ice in? Pat, make sure you have ice in first, and you want to pour each drink right onto some ice cubes so they won't splash into the bottom layer. All right, in the final 30 seconds, tell me what you brought here. These adorable eagles. The eagles on the presidential flag. Great chance to talk to your kids about the inauguration. These are marshmallows dipped in melted white chocolate and then rolled in some finely shredded coconut for the feathers. And then you just stick in a cashew beak and add some mini chocolate chip eyes. I love it. This is so cute. Okay. And then finally. And then we're hearing more and more from our Family Fun readers. They want healthy treats to serve their families. So these are all fruit. It's banana slices topped with halves of strawberries and then add blackberries in the corner. Mary Giles, thank you so yeah, much. Thank you. For more information on crafts for kids, go to our website, earlyshow.cbsnews.com.